when I'm praying, uh huh, is there a balance that I have to have between okay. stuff that I pray for for myself and mm-hmm. stuff that I pray for for other people? Okay. Like, uh, n- no. Okay. <laughs> like, in other words, I don't need Because to... I was told growing up, like, don't just only pray for you to get stuff. Right. Well, like, I would agree with that. Okay. But I don't want to, like, get into this point of, like, ratios. Like, for every one okay. prayer for me, I've got to have three prayers for somebody else. I don't want to. Okay. Because that's legalistic. I don't want to get into all that. Right. But I do think that there it's is. just a line somewhere. You know, you're looking for the, it's got to be a lie. And I think one of the things we don't want to do is fall into the trap of only praying for ourselves. Okay. Because I do think that leads us to this point of where we're just, if we're only praying for ourselves, I mean, again, that's, that's pretty selfish and, and myopic, you know, in, mm-hmm. in view. And so I would rather say, yeah, go to the Lord, pray, right? Lord, you know, my needs, you know, my wants, you know what I'm after, you know what? You know what's going on in my heart? Like, pray, talk to God. And and sometimes we're lamenting and crying. Sometimes we're praising and rejoicing, but whatever. Like, talk to God about what's going on with you, right? But then don't forget about praying for others as well. All right. And so I think it's just, they just both need to be present. Um, I had uh, a mentor of mine talks about it this way. You know, he's like, all right, pray for yourself. But then he has this kind of model where he says, pray for people across the table. And what he means by that is like, your family, you know, that's, that's there at your like dining room table, pray, pray for your family. And then he says across the street. So pray for people in your community. And then he says across the world, pray for people that you may know across the world or for things that are going on across the mm-hmm. world. And I'm not saying you got to sit there and do that every single day. It's gotta be, Oh, well, I've got to do this, this, and this, but I think it helps give a good perspective of praying that says, yeah, I'm going to pray for myself, but I'm going to pray for my family. I'm going to pray for my friends, my community, my church family. Mm. And I'm also going to pray for things that are going on around the nation or around the world, you know, that's outside of my very local sphere. And and I think it gives us a broader perspective of what God's doing around the world. And it keeps us from being so selfish, maybe in our prayers. (laughs) 